Hello everybody. Today we're going to be learning about fractions. In this lesson, we're going to learn about halves, fourths, and eighths. We're also going to learn how to write the fraction using words. Let's begin with learning some vocabulary. A fraction is a number that can be used to name part of a whole. Equal parts are fractional parts that are the same size. For example, this triangle has two equal parts, and this triangle does not have equal parts because one side is larger than the other. Partition means to separate or divide an object into parts. For example, in this square, to partition it, I will add a line in the middle and make sure that each side is equal. This is another example of a square partitioned into four equal parts. A half is an object that has been partitioned or divided into two equal parts. This triangle has one, two parts, so it is partitioned or divided into halves. This rectangle also has one, two parts, so it too is partitioned into halves. Fourth is a word for when an object has been partitioned or divided into four equal parts. This diamond has one, two, three, four parts, so it is partitioned into fourths. This circle has one, two, three, four parts as well, so it too is partitioned into fourths. Eighth is a word for when an object is partitioned into eight parts. This shape has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts, so it is partitioned into eights. This rectangle has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts, so it too is partitioned into eights. We're going to practice figuring out the fraction of a shape using words. The question for these examples is, what is the fraction of the shaded part? Shaded means the colored portion. Let's look at this shape first. To figure out the fraction of this circle using words, we are first going to count the number of parts. One, two, three, four. Since this circle has four parts, it is partitioned into fourths. Then I will count how many parts are shaded or colored. One, two. There are two parts that are shaded, so the shaded part of this fraction is two-fourths. The two represents the shaded or colored part of the circle, and the fourths represents the total number of parts in the circle. What is the fraction of the shaded part in this figure? To figure out the fraction of this figure, first count the number of parts. One, two. This will represent the last word in our fraction. Since there are two parts, it is partitioned into halves. This represents the total number of parts in the fraction. Then we will count the number of shaded or colored parts. One. So we will write one in front of half. This represents the number of parts that are shaded. Let's continue practicing with fractions. What is a fraction of the shaded part? To figure out the fraction of a shaded part, I will first have to count the number of total parts this fraction has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Since this fraction is partitioned into eight parts, it is called eights. Again, this word eights represents the total parts in my figure. There are eight total parts. Since we want to know the fraction of the shaded part, I will now count the, how many are shaded. One, two, three. There are three parts that are shaded or colored, so the first word for this fraction is three. Three represents the number of parts that are shaded. So what is a fraction of this sh of shaded part? The answer is 3 eighths. Now let's look at this fraction here. 
what is a fraction of the shaded part in this one here? To figure out the answer, I will first count the total number of parts in the shape. One, two, three, four. Since there are four parts in the shape, it is partitioned into fourths. Remember, this word represents or means the total number of parts. Now we are going to count the shaded part of the figures. One, two, three. I will write three in front of fourths. This number represents the number that is shaded. So what is a fraction of the shaded part for this figure? The answer is three fourths. What is a fraction of the part that is not shaded? This question is a little different. It asks to figure out the fraction of the part that is not shaded. Remember that shaded means colored, so I will need to figure out the fraction of the uncolored portion. Let's look at two examples. To figure out the fraction of the part that is not shaded in this example, I will start by counting all of the parts first. One, two, three, four. There are four parts, so this shape is partitioned or divided into fourths. This word or number represents the total parts in the fraction. Now I need to count the number of parts that are not shaded or colored. One, two, three. There are three parts that are not colored, so that number in word form will be placed in front of fourths. This number represents the number that is not shaded. What is the fraction of the part that is not shaded for this example? Three-fourths. Let's look at this example now. To get the fraction of the unshaded or uncolored part, we will first start by counting the total number of parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight parts, so this shape is partitioned into eights. This number represents the total number of parts. Now we are going to count the total number of parts that are not shaded or colored. One, two, three, four, five. There are five parts that are not colored, so that number will go in front of eights in word form. This number represents the number that is not shaded. Fractions are parts of a whole. Today we learned about halves, fourths, and eighths. And we learned how to write the fraction in word form. We learned that the words halves, fourths, and eighths represent the total parts in a fraction. And the number in front represents the shaded part of a fraction. It is important to look carefully at what part of the fraction you will be asked to look for the shaded or unshaded part. Thanks everyone for listening and have